Cheryl writes in and says, what can I do to boost my self-confidence when going through chemo? Mm -hmm. It seems like this panel is the perfect person to answer that question for Cheryl. Who would like to talk about that? Um, well, I can, you know, it's funny, Jean referred to this before, um, kind of the lighter weight things like the way you look. And um, shallow or not, you know, I have to say I was really preoccupied with my hair, um, with losing my hair. Um, and by the way, it does come back. I've already <laughs> grown it out. You know, I've already grown it out and donated a couple of times. Um, but I was, I was, I spent a lot of time, I, I hate to say I was obs obsessed with investigating what I could do for myself, but I was also really obsessed about this. I identified, I lost a breast in my hair and, you know, I didn't have the reconstruction then. I never had it. And that really preoccupied me. One thing you can do, and it was incredibly valuable to me, was that the American Cancer Society has workshops. They're called Look Good, Feel Better. Right. And they teach you little tricks. And boy, I, you know, because you lose, you're going to lose. It depends how much chemo you have. But I lost every, every eye, piece of eyebrow, every eyelash, everything. Okay. And I had to learn how, I learned how to put on, for me, it was important. And there's nothing wrong if you think that's important. You know, I did. And um, so I had learned little tricks. Like I wore a wig and I learned things like wear larger accessories because then the wig is less noticeable. I mean, they're little things, but they really, really helped me. And so I told, and they have these workshops all over the country. I wholeheartedly recommend them. They'll help you find wigs. They help, they're all kinds of tricks. Um, and they're little things, but every now and then I'll find something, you know, a pair of earrings that's this big. And I remember buying it because I thought, well, if you wear the earrings and they're this big, maybe nobody will notice I'm wearing the wig. <laughs> Would you admit that wigs have uh, gotten even better through the, through the years, Daryl? I mean, oh. I look at some of my ladies now and I look and I lean forward and I say, oh, no. Are, are you wearing a wig? I mean, I can't tell. I mean, so even the quality of the wigs, thanks to donors like you, have gotten better over the years, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I used to say I can spot a wig from a mile away because I was so obsessed with wigs, but huh. uh, but actually they are way better, way better yeah. today. You know, and, you know. Daryl, it's interesting you bring that up because I'm wig clueless. I never notice. I just... And it's and I'm around breast cancer patients all the time. And we love they you for generally, that. <laughs> yeah, they generally tell me before I've recognized. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.